What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Dad Life. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to paint your tired old brake calipers for under 50 bucks. Enjoy the video. All right guys, so some of the parts that you get on Amazon is you get your CRC brake cleaner, runs you maybe five or six bucks a can. For this, we're gonna use the Pour 15 or P-O-R 15, not really sure how to pronounce it, but caliper paint, high temp. Here you go, we're going with red, it is brush on. So of course I got a set on Amazon of art brushes, multiple sizes, small, medium, large, and this which is gonna be a huge time saver, the drill attachment for the wire brushes. So the plan here, as you guys see, I already have the back of the car jacked up. I have jack stands and the jack still supporting it. Tires off, just to save some time, you guys know how to do that. Uh, and the goal here is we are going to wire brush off the old paint. You see how it's fading, it's not, rust it's actually the, the stock black if you will colors on the calipers so we're going to take all that off on the front or i should say the rear and once the rear is all done then we'll reverse the process and we'll do the front you see the fronts are almost uh lighter like they were sun faded than the backs all right guys we're going to hop right into this i already, I already had the dr drill charging we have the wire brush attachment on of course you're going to wear the biggest safety goggles that you can find safety is first <laughs> And basically, let's let's get to this. Let's strip the paint. All right, guys. So here you're gonna see we're done with the uh, wire brush, and then I went over it with uh, some sandpaper. I wanted to make sure I got all the old paint on the raised edges as smooth as possible. Uh, and then things like this, you don't want to see like part of it. Um, you don't want to see part of it rough and flaking, and then part of it smooth because then, of course brush on and even they're going to build layers you might see that underneath so i want it to be safe uh then i went over it about three times with brake clean as well as a wire brush just to get all the contaminants off it seems pretty smooth might go over one more time i'm going to tape up the two little uh piston boots right here um probably tape up here a little bit and then we're going to get to painting and here's what i'm using on this side i'm just using the box that it came with put it underneath your brake caliper you got your brake clean, spray it off, clean it. I've only gone over this once, so you can still tell that it's still uh, very dirty, but we're gonna clean it again with the wire brush. Same thing, sanded it down, wire brush it, got it real smooth. All right, guys, we got our paint mixed up. We got our art brushes, I already kind of started. I'm just trying to get all the edges. The first coat, it says really light. And we're just going to uh, have at it. Take your time, have fun, enjoy this. I think that's why I wanted to do the paintbrush method because it's, it seems a little more relaxing than the spray and getting over spray everywhere. Again, you're not gonna make the whole thing full coverage on your first go because you have a raw caliper now. No street. No street, right buddy? Okay. Daddy. Stay right there. Daddy. Ah, no, 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 baby. Ah. It is a little windy, yeah. All right, guys, so I got the back ones all done. They're all mounted back up, nice and shiny. Looks pretty darn good. Let me go show you the other side. Stay right there, bud. Way better. Now, we're gonna come to the front, and I went to Home Depot, got some 80 grit, just because of all the uh, ridges here. And realistically, because I'm running 18 inch wheels, you really only see like that much of the caliper when it's on the car because the wheel sits close, but I still scuffed everything up. I'm gonna clean it with the brake clean and the bracket, I'm gonna do red. Eh, I, know, I know stock, it came with like just a raw bracket and then this caliper was red, but I'm gonna do the whole thing red, it's just why not? So we're gonna tape up this, we're gonna tape up here, put our tape over the rotor. I still gotta scuff the other side on the driver's side, we're gonna get to painting again. Bush. 
right guys so i brake cleaned it a few times i sanded the fronts down with 60 grit sandpaper wiped off all the loose paint again the smoother the surface the better this is going to work out so we're going to tape this up we're going to get to painting a little bit of a crossover video here we're also going to install the front lip so stay tuned All right, guys, you see, wheels are all back on, lug nuts are all torqued. Let's go check out the back one. Nice and shiny. Now three coats on both, brush on. That is not dirt. I'm sorry, it's not chipped, it's dirt. And yes, the rotors will be next. <laughs> but thank you guys, as always, for tuning in to Dad Life. Give a little tease. Front lip is on. If you guys have not yet, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see you at the Corvette show.